गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी वेलकम बैक टू रेफर सीरीज रेफर स्टैंड फॉर रेडियोलॉजी एजुकेशन फॉर एनहेंसमेंट ऑफ रेडियोलॉजिस्ट सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट ट्रांसट्रेक्टल इमेजिंग ऑफ अ केस ऑफ फेस्टिला सो नाउ आई हैव टेकन अ लीनियर प्रोब एंड प्लेस्ड इट ऑन द सजाइटल एक्सेस ओवर द एनल कैनल एंड लोअर perineum so you can see here that this is 12 o'clock position this is 6 o'clock position and the probe linear probe high frequency probe is in a sagittal plane i can see the external opening here that's the skin that's the external opening at 5 o'clock position and from here a tract goes in the subcutaneous plane towards the anal canal now this is the anal canal you can see the internal sphincter muscle fibers and what i do first is measure the length of the tract so first mention about the external opening the location then talk about the direction of the tract and the plane of the tract then measure the length of the tract it's 13 mm long and 1.6 mm in width so that's the first point which we arrive at next i move my probe in a sagittal plane cranially so you can see that the entrance of the tract is here now i see where the tract enters the anal canal so it enters in the intersphincteric plane now this is the internal sphincter this is the external sphincter and i have put arrows here so this is the intersphincteric plane so a tract will enter the intersphincteric plane usually close to the anal skin so next we document the plane of entry of the tract and i have confirmed that it's entering into the anal canal through a intersphincteric plane after it enters the intersphincteric plane then i have concentrated in the sagittal plane what it does inside the anal canal so we have labeled the internal sphincter external sphincter and i have measured or shown a large hypoechoic cavity filled with internal echos so this is a intersphincteric abscess so the tract from 5 o'clock has gone to 6 o'clock position entered the intersphincteric plane and ascended above for quite a length in the intersphincteric space and formed a large intersphincteric abscess so you can see the intersphincteric abscess is also involving the external sphincter i have labeled the internal sphincter external sphincter and the intersphincter then i turn the probe in a coronal axis and i have moved the probe posterior to the anal canal and you can see 3 o'clock is on the left side and 9 o'clock is on the right side so this is the breadth or left right dimension of the abscess and we have measured the breadth of the abscess and it is about 10 mm so the intersphincteric abscess has been measured in sagittal plane which gives the length and ap and in a coronal plane which has given the breadth of the intersphincteric abscess so it's a broader abscess taller abscess after defining the external opening tract intersphincteric entrance cranial ascent formation of intersphincteric abscess now we have to see where it's opening into the anal canal so you can see i have put arrows there which show opening of the abscess into the anal canal at 6 o'clock position so you can see there that is the communication between anal canal and the intersphincter capsules 
so we have documented the internal opening next i measure the distance of the internal opening from the anal verge so that's the internal opening and that's the anal verge and the measurement is 8 mm so from the anal verge the internal opening is at a distance of 8 mm and that is what is the next inference now we are using the endocavitary 3d probe and we have got the anal canal in its cross section 3 o'clock on the left 9 o'clock on the right 12 on the top and 6 on the bottom and you can see the intersphincter capsis in its cross section involving external sphincter intersphincteric space and internal sphincter now i rotate the endocavitary probe in a sagittal plane you can see 12 o'clock is anterior 6 o'clock is posterior and external opening i have labeled the intersphincteric capsis has been labeled internal opening has been labeled so in a sagittal plane the external opening forms a tract along the subcutaneous plane goes into 6 o'clock position enters the intersphincteric plane forms an abscess and enters the anal canal through the internal opening cine loop showing a sagittal plane with movement of the probe in a right left direction showing the external opening intersphincteric entrance intersphincteric abscess and internal opening in cross section you can see the external opening intersphincteric entrance intersphincteric abscess and internal opening three d reconstruction cranially you have the rectum caudally there is the anal verge you can see the dark hypoechoic 6 o'clock position tract going from external into the intersphincteric space forming a intersphincteric abscess and you can see the internal opening which is marked by an arrow 3d rendering of cross section showing the intersphincteric abscess So today you have seen a case of intersphincteric abscess at five o'clock position external opening with egress at six o'clock position into the intersphincteric space formation of a large intersphincteric abscess and having an internal opening at six o'clock position. So that's how. Uh, transrectal imaging is done for perianal fistulas so this is a demonstration of the steps in which the scan has to be done and the components of the scan which are a must to be demonstrated and documented a 3d also has been shown to you my number is there on the screen people who wish to learn more can google www.medinit.org for certificate courses on anal sonography fetal echocardiography fetal aneuploidy etc thank you very much happy learning jai hind this is dr pradeep shrinivasan from bangalore under the refer series